So now we all know that Manchester United are going to win the Premier League this year. What? We may as well talk about our game against Southampton this weekend. And the predicted, look, I'm, I'm joking about, well, hopefully I'm not joking about winning the league, but Man United's 5-1 win against Leeds on the opening day of the season was nothing short of spectacular. Hat-trick from Bruno, four assists from Paul Pogba. Although if you listen to Graham Soonest, Mason Green was man of the match. Mason Green was great, but one of the, those two were just on a different level. Will both of them start against Southampton this weekend? Who else will start? This is my predicted 11 video for that game. The, the starting team, I think Solskjaer will play. You can let me know yours in the comments below whether you think I'm right or wrong. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's talk about this game. Will we see Rafael Varane make his Man United debut? I hope so, anyway. In terms of the back five, we shouldn't really see much of a change. We should see David De Gea starting in goal. We should see Luke Shaw starting on the left alongside Harry Maguire. And the one change we will make, I hope, is to see Rafael Varane making his Man United debut. That unveil at Old Trafford last week was legendary. Just to see him walking out in front of 75,000 fans for the first time, that was that was when it was confirmed. That was a beautiful moment. And it sort of made up for the delays and the pain that there'd been in seeing the delays. But we're, I, can't, I cannot wait to see Rafael Varane in a United shirt. Watch us play with a higher line against Southampton. Because we've got Varane, because we've got the confidence in the, in the team with him in the defence. Wan-Bissaka, he'll play it right back. And I've said this on record, I think that Wan-Bissaka is going to be the most improved player at Manchester United this year. And I've always been talking about how he's probably going to have Jadon Sancho in front of him as a regular winger. I haven't even really thought about the fact that he's going to be playing alongside Rafael Varane as well. So I'm doubling down on my idea that Wan-Bissaka is going to be the most improved player at United this year. Varane, man, as I said, we're going to play with a slightly higher line. You're going to have, you see United have more confidence in that space in behind. When you've got Lindelof and Maguire, you have to sit deep because you're worried about the balls over the top. Varane's got that pace covered. wan has got that pace covered. Shaw's got that pace covered. Three out of four areas means that we can cover the deficiencies of Maguire's pace. It's a weakness of a game. And with Lindelof, it was a weakness of both of their game. But with Varane in, Champions League Varane. Champions League Varane! I cannot wait to see this. And I hope that I've managed to bag a ticket for this game. Big up to Bal. Big up, Bell. Anyway, I think Varane will start this game. I think he's going to be fit, ready to play. I can't, he's, look, he's looked fine in training. Let me know what you think about that. But in terms of the rest of the team, I'm going for a 4-2-3-1 here. I think Manchester United will stick with Fred. I say Manchester United. I think Solskjaer will stick with Fred and stick with McTominay. Look, in that team that came out against Leeds, there were angry people there straight away. As soon as everyone saw Fred and McTominay and Dan James, was like, oh my God, he's sticking to it. What's going on? We won 5-1. Bruno scored a hat-trick. Popper got four assists. It worked. Vindicated. Now, it, it will be different against Southampton. Leeds was a perfect team for United to play. They didn't learn from their mistakes at Old Trafford last year and they were open as hell. Came attacking, we exploited the spaces and we dominated. Southampton will definitely sit with a bit more discipline under Hassan Hootl. And let's see what happens there. But that is where this 4-2-3-1 may fall down. Because when you're playing teams like Leeds who are aggressively spaces there, it doesn't matter having two holding midfielders really because there's, there's spaces for us to exploit when you win the ball early. Play against a low block with two holding midfielders, that's where this formation has become unstuck. I hope that what we'll see because we've got Varane in, we'll play higher up the pitch. So McTominay and Fred should have the ball more towards the halfway line rather than the opposite side of the D and like 10, 15 yards away from their own area. If we do that, then a double pivot may not hurt Manchester United as much this season because you'll see the attackers in better positions because the ball's being played from a, a, pit, a position higher up the pitch. That's what I hope will happen. And that's why I think Varane's going to be such an important signing. But in terms of the front four, I'm definitely playing Paul Pop right on the left. Look, I said this before and I'll say it again. If Rashford was available and wasn't injured, you can pretty much bet that he would have started out there on the left wing. So, as I said, it was more of a product of necessity. It was an opportunity for Solskjaer to play Pogba out there. But look how incredible Paul Pogba was there. He was absolutely untouchable, unplayable. And he was man of the match, Graeme Sooner, so you can get fucked. Anyway, back to the game. Bruno Fernandes, I think, would dare what? Bruno Fernandes is going to play in this position Every game he's fit this season. He was magnificent against Leeds. Again, like Pogba, unplayable, untouchable, a hat-trick. And no penalties in there, by the way. I love to see the fans of other teams trying to slate Fernandez, trying to take away from him. But they all have to just admit that he is just one of the best players in the world. And he's right at the heart of this new-look Manchester United. So Pogba out on the left, Bruno in the middle. But who on the right? Hmm, 
Who on the right hand? Yeah, you're damn right. It's Jaden Sancho starting here, man. Not Dan James. Dan James, get on the bench, my friend. That is where you belong. And I don't mean that massively disrespectfully, but this team, Southampton, right? They're definitely going to sit in a more disciplined shape. Leeds just bent over and let Man United have their wicked way with them. But Southampton won't do that. They're going to sit disciplined, sit in shape, and therefore we're going to need runs in behind. Smart runs in behind and Sancho's going to be the man for that. Bruno receiving the ball, looking up and Sancho will be making the right runs, making the right decisions. Jaden Sancho is going to transform the shape of our attack. I cannot wait to see him play. I've, I think that Man United are going to be such a better attacking threat with him in the side and we scored five without him. But Dan James, you know, he got into positions, great positions against Leeds, but... His decision making was just poor, was just poor. And the final product just wasn't there. Jaden Sancho has got like 30 gold assist involvements in the last two, three years of his career. And he's 21, isn't he? Insane return from Jaden Sancho. And it's going to, it's going to try, oh, it's going to take us up to another level. And if we can score five against Leeds, what can we do against Southampton? I don't think we'll score five against Southampton. I think they will sit disciplined. Mason Greenwood, I'm definitely backing him to start up front again. It wasn't just the goal that impressed me from Greenwood against Leeds. It was the overall rounded performance from what very mature number nine performance. He dropped deep when he needed to. He went aggressive when he needed to. Good link up when he needed to. Clinical finishing when he had the opportunity. Anderson Cavani is obviously going to come in and play plenty this season. He played against Southampton last year, but he came off the bench. Maybe he'll do the same thing again, get another two goals. I hope so. I'm going to be in that away end and I would love to go mad at a late winner. That would be ideal. But I very much expect this game against Southampton to be much harder than Leeds. Leeds, they didn't learn from their mistakes last year, did they? Conceded six, conceded five. 11 in two games at Old Trafford. They came at us and it, it suited us. Southampton won't do that. They'll sit disciplined and in shape. And that's why we're going to have question marks here about Scott, McTominay and Fred. The double pivot last year, we, we fell short in these games where we came up against a low block. Rafael Varane being in the starting 11 should bring our position higher up the pitch. So therefore, Fred and McTominay shouldn't be sitting so deep. So therefore, maybe they can operate more essential midfielders rather than purely defensive midfielders. Let's see what happens. But Sancho, he's 100% starting this game. He only had four days training for the Leeds game, but he's had a whole extra week here. I think he's definitely starting, my own opinion. And I don't think Cavani, even if Cavani was fit, I don't think he would take Greenwood out of that team. Not after we scored five against Leeds and not after Greenwood played so well. It would be bad management to take Greenwood out after that. So my 11 now, I'm going for De Gea, with Shaw, Maguire, Varane and wan Saka with Fred and McTominay as the, as the two pivot midfielders with Pobre on the left, Bruno in the middle, Sancho on the right and Greenwood up front. So two changes in that team. Varane coming in for Lindelof. Dan James going out for Jaden Sancho. And that right there, that starting 11, wow. Oh my God! Wow! Sure, we don't have that holding midfielder, but my God, that is a team that should be mounting a title challenge. I fear we'll come short without a central midfield signing. That's my own opinion. I've maintained that the entire way through. But it's going to be a hell of an exciting game. Hopefully, I'm going to see Varane's debut in United shirt. Sancho's first start in a Manchester United shirt. See a rampant United go and put Southampton to the sword. Let's see what happens. I expect it to be more difficult. I expect a low block. But I also expect us to be better against it because of Varane and because of Sancho. That's exciting. It won't be the same as last year where we just had to just recycle possession and without threatening I think will be much improved but let's see what happens what do you think will happen in the game what's your prediction make sure you watch my match reaction from Southampton after the game on Sunday but let me know your starting 11 what you want to see in the comments below and if you're new in town make sure you subscribe to United People's TV until next time take it easy